Hey guys, what's going on? It's Majin Bay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I'm going to be going over one of the decks I featured in my last video, the top three day one decks. This is the one I think will probably perform the best. This is Ezreal Kennen. Uh, it's a combo deck that plays around the self-recall archetype to level up Kennen as fast as possible, casting Mark of the Storms along the way. What Mark of the Storm does is not only control the board, but it levels up your Ezreal very, very quickly. You only need to cast six things targeting your opponent's units, and this costs zero mana, makes it very easy to cast multiple, especially when you're constantly recurring Kennen. Um, with help of things like Retreat Return, Recall, and most importantly, God Will of Seedling. Um, so you level up Ezreal, you get more of these Mark of the storms or whatever and then with ezreal on the board leveled every mark of the storm you cast targeting an opponent's unit deals two damage to your opponent's face very 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 easy to burn them out you also are casting so many spells free spells with kennen's mark of the storm like we mentioned that this makes it one of the best eye of the dragon decks in the game this might be a better eye of the dragon deck than lee sin probably not but it's really good. <laughs> um, we have a bunch of other spells to help stuff like that. You know, obviously the recall retreat returns, the God Willow uh, seedlings help get, get you the cannons coming back. Um, they can keep your eyes alive or bounce your Ezreals or whatever. But you also have things like Sonic Wave. You can throw this on your cannon or your Dragonling, which is really, really nice. Having a quick attacker to send after units is so important in these aggro matchups. Also, and this comes up a ton in this deck, is that Kennen, when he's leveled, when he attacks, or when he's blocked, he summons a Mark of the Storm. So if you Sonic Wave something with Kennen and challenge a unit, it counts as blocking him. So he gets another Mark of the Storm, making it even easier to kill things, level Ezreal, kill your opponent, whatever you need to do. It's really, really, really good. Not to mention the normal use of just throwing it on a Dragonling and gaining 4 life while killing something. Uh, Twin Disciplines is mostly here just to keep stuff alive in combat. You can also push for some more damage. Ezreal, obviously, is there to win the game for you. It is kind of tough to win when you don't draw Ezreal sometimes, uh, but the deck sees a lot of cards, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. You can always go wide with the Dragonlings and the Kennens and control the board until you kill them anyway. Uh, God Willow Seedling. Do I have the music off? No, it's just not playing any music. Uh, God Willow Seedling is one of my favorite cards of the expansion so far. It's probably my favorite card, besides, like, Ari. Uh, which we'll get to in a different video. Don't worry, guys. This is a three-mana landmark. When you play, recall an ally to summon an ephemeral copy of it, which triggers Kennen's thingamajiggy. Mark of, the, mark, of, mark of the Storm. That's what it's called. So when you play it, you want to play it on Kennen basically every single time because what it'll do is it'll play Kennen to your hand or it'll return Kennen to your hand, play another Kennen, give you a Mark of the Storm. And then if you can, often you want to return that ephemeral Kennen back to your hand, creating another copy of Kennen. Kennen's champion spell is Lightning Rush, which bounces something, usually Kennen, dealing two damage to something and creating a Kennen in your deck. This is important because we are playing three copies of Kinku Wayfinder. Allegiance, summon two one-cost allies from your deck. Do you know what cost one mana is in our deck? Spoiler alert, it's Kennen. Oh, I dropped one. Spoiler alert, it's Kennen. He's the only one drop in our deck. So every single time we play King of Wayfinder, unless we hit Ezreal off the top of our deck, we are going to summon two copies of Kennen. However, once you've already summoned all the Kennens, you don't have any more Kennens left. But with God Willow Seedling and by casting the Kennen champ spells, you put more Kennens in your deck, meaning you can play King of Wayfinder and summon two Kennens again, <laughs> even after they died. It's really cool. Happens all the time. King of Wayfinder, absolutely bonkers in this deck. Shadow Assassin is there to cycle your deck, give you an elusive attacker, and also be really cool to tag in with the return half of Retreat Return um, after bouncing Kennen or something. Palm is just there to keep you alive. It also targets stuff. Deny keeps your combo nice and protected, although we may shift more towards a Nopify meta. We will see how things shake up. Homecoming is really nice because it's like Will of Ionia, but it also bounces your Kennen, which is like a super positive in this deck. I might go up to three. Kiko Wayfinder finds your cannons. Absolutely insane. Uh, and then three copy of Deep Med. What am I? Who's a teammate of mine has moved off the Deep Meds into things like Pod. I, however, really like Deep Meditation in the deck. So we'll see where we end up with that. This is basically the day one version, right? This is uh, BBG created the deck. And this is what we decided was the best version of it. Uh, I really like the deck. I think it's incredibly strong. If you enjoy combo decks or tempo decks, definitely give this one a shot. Uh, but you don't know, take my word for it. I will uh, jump on ladder and hopefully get to show you guys just how strong I think it could be. Taric Pantheon. This is a pretty common archetype I've seen. The, <laughs> ignore the lab secrets part on the tracker. Those are the cards that are in the new 
uh, the new expansions. So, like, Kennen and the Landmark, I believe, are the only ones. Um, basically, you want to just mulligan for Kennen in this deck. There we go. And then once you have Kennen, you can look for things like um, the Landmark. Also, Kinko Wayfinder is a pretty decent keep. Um, Eye of the Dragon, if you need it in the matchup. Yeah, very happy to see this God Below Seedling. I'm actually going to wait on Kennen because I want to play it only when my opponent has something that they could that I could target. So now they do, right? I can do this and then attack because I want that Ezreal level up as fast as possible. I'll probably just bank Banna and then on turn three, we'll go ahead and God Willow Seedling on Kennen. Block. It's pretty important to keep him alive. Or at least a cannon alive. Hey, look, there's another one. Seedling this guy. And now we're chilling. Mmm, very annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack here. And then I'm probably going to shoot this wounded white flame. Because it might be very important to stun it, right? So I, while I could try to kill the 1-2, I think it's probably smarter for me to be able to deal with this guy at some point. Spooky. It's kind of number 3. I'll go ahead and take this. Um... I'm preventing one damage by shooting that guy, but if our opponent takes that opportunity to cast a spell, then I'm taking more damage from these guys, right? At least, like, two, and I don't know. It just doesn't seem worth it. Let's play Shadow Assassin. Mmm, that's a nice card. We get another Kennen. That's Kennen number four, and I could go ahead and Kinku. Um, I could Kinku, and I have one Kennen left in the deck. However, I could get pretty tricky by going Lightning Rush first. Now, if our opponent stops this, it's not the worst thing in the planet because they're just like single combating an Ephemeral Cannon. But if they don't stop it, I just get to play Kinko Wayfinder and get two more Cannons. Uh, single, okay. Um, What if I put Mark of the Storm on the stack? Let's see if our opponent's willing to trade or if they'll use a spell. They are willing to trade. Okay, that's fine for me. And we unfortunately lose the cannon. Uh, we still have one in the deck that I can kinku out. Kind of like just waiting, though. Yeah, our opponent has a lot of mana. I don't really have a way to protect the cannons. There we go. That's much better. Mantheon is here. Hmm. Yeah, I'll play it. Level cannon. We have one mark. We get to make at least two with the option to make a lot more next turn. This is fine. Go ahead and put a mark on Pantheon. And then we'll sit on this retreat. Okay. So here's the plan. We Sonic Wave here. And we send in the squad. We can hold this plus two plus O. Oh. To see how our opponent blocks first. I'm not super worried about getting in the maximum amount of damage if they just want to click OK. We have three marks. Two from attacking, one from the block. And here's where we need to find an Ezreal. Mm, sharp Sight, sure. I'm willing to mark this guy out of combat. Pantheon's at 2 of 5. The worst part about playing Kennen, honestly, is the stupid buzzing sound you get from Mark by the Storm. Okay. Our guys survived. We deal some damage. We kill Pantheon. Pretty great turn for us. We can even put a Mark on this guy as well. 
Um, I'll Shadow Assassin. It seems our opponent doesn't have much else to do, honestly. Yeah, so I don't want to give them the whole turn for free. We have a pretty good chance of finding lethal this following turn. Even through some disruption. Each life a rare jewel. Hmm. Thinking perhaps we just palm Tarek? Stopping any kind of like rally shenanigans without having to use my deny. Makes pumping, like, a lot worse, right? If they go, like, Pale Cascade on Taric, that kind of sucks for us. They get to draw a bunch of cards. Their guys get pretty big. That's fine. As long as I'm not being killed, I, like, I don't really care. <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. All right, let's move on. Let's take our turn. We have another Sonic Wave. We have not found Ezreal, unfortunately. Very unfortunately. I have to fire this off. Or we run out of space in our hand? With the cannons, so I'll just drag here and get our three marks again. Like, just imagine if we had an Ezreal. Just imagine, right? Opponent's got something. We have we have a billion cards in our hand. I've got your back. Sure. Um. Take out this guy, I guess. And then I think I'll deep med. Deep med also filters out cards that aren't Ezreal from our deck, making it a lot easier for us to draw one. There we go. Okay. Uh, we do have to block here. Too late for you. So we just full block, and then if there's anything to give overwhelm, then we'll like press buttons, right? But until then, I don't have to do anything. Just, okay. Here's Ezreal. Here's the boy. Uh, I, I think they're going to find out really quick what they're up against, Mr. Ezreal. Single combat? Golden Aegis. Um, okay, here's my plan. We cast Retreat in response. Oh, that's right. It turns into Ken and Spell. That was that was stupid to me, honestly. That was really dumb. Um, I always forget that. I'm like, I can't. I just can't like return Ken again. Or can I? Obviously, opponent's just dead if this goes through. Yeah, GG. Uh, didn't quite get to show you guys how the combo works, but there will there will be other chances. A little slow to draw Ezreal, but as you can see, the deck's very good at like stalling out the game. Um, we didn't even draw an Eye of the Dragon. Ken and Ezreal, the mirror. Oh, no. Even the skin mirror. They even have the Ezreal skin. What am I supposed to do? Uh, okay. I really want to keep this God Willow ceiling, but we just we have to find Kennen or Wayfinder. We didn't find one. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. We're good. We're good. It's going to be all about flipping Kennen. And then I don't like to play Ezreal early in this matchup. Or really any of these, like, Ionia tricky matchups. Because they... Excuse me. They do play Sonic Wave. And because Ezreal's able to just, like, end the game when he hits the board later, I usually don't like to have him out there and, like, just get him killed for no reason. No reason to put out a 
vulnerable champion that's like not really gonna change anything. Oh my light just turned on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. I was like, why'd it get so dark? Uh oh look, we drew seedling. Um I'll offer the pass again. We're gonna like our opponent's gonna kink a wayfinder on turn four, and we're also gonna kink a wayfinder on turn four. But jeez, oh, double seedling, wow. Eyes open. Whoa, One shock. Extra hands never hurt. If attacked, I'll block one of the Kettens with the Remember Wayfinder, the and that's it. I'll Just here. Yeah. Then they're not putting them on my Kettens. Uh-huh. And then what I want to do <clears throat> is I want to start putting these Mark of the Storms on Kettens and stuff, but you want to do them one at, the t one at a time in the mirror, because if you put both on the stack, they get to recall, and you don't get the Ezreal stacks. I could also put one here. It's kind of cheeky, no? No surprise. Let's see if our opponent also has seedling, because that's pretty important. means we basically just get more cannons than our opponent and we're both going to be constantly trying to kill each other's cannons they do have seedling okay i'll put mark here i think start off our opponent will probably put a mark on this cannon we're at what two ezreal to two ezreal yeah opponent's gonna go to three this cannon spell ezreal's mystic shot like so lightning rush uh, Mark of the Storm and Ezreal's Mystic Shot are currently in the normal version of the deck. The only way to actually kill stuff. Which is kind of insane. I want to I want to push it a little bit. Perhaps like retreat. We throw Retreat on Kennen. They respond with Lightning Rush. And then I respond with Lightning Rush. I think that would put us in a pretty commanding position. Okay, opponent just lets it go through. That's totally fine. The spirit gives to those mm. who listen. Hmm. I want to utilize this return. Guess I could put it on Eye of the Dragon. Get myself a Dragonling. Again, I don't really want to put out... I don't really want to put out Ezreal just yet. Okay, so we both just have, like, multiple Kennen spells in hand. Kennen on board. Kennen's coming back on board. Yeah, opponent will play a Kennen. They're at three of six to my two of six on Ezreal, but we're going to have a pretty explosive turn here, I think, coming up. Have I mastered the clone technique too well? Probably. Probably. Uh, could Seedling the cannon again? Honestly, it's probably the move. It's just, like, really good. Yeah, I think I will. More cannons is just better. Right? Like, <laughs> we have three cannon spells in our hand. A cannon on board. A cannon coming back next turn. Sure. Opponent gets to do some stuff, though. They're definitely going to be the first to level cannon, and they're going to be the first to level... Well, they'll probably be the first to level cannon, if they really want to. But they'll, like, assuredly be the first to level Ezreal if they want it. Be shocked to see a pass back here.
no Sonic Wave in my hand, which is kind of sad because I can't like challenge the cannon and get Mark of the Storms, which is kind of what you want to engineer. You want a spot where, I know this is like really specific to the mirror, but I have a feeling if you play the deck, you're going to be seeing it a lot. You want to engineer a spot where your opponent has to either lose their key piece, their cannon, or Ezreal or whatever, or try to play around your free interaction, right? So Sonic Wave lets you do that because you get to Sonic Wave cannon into cannon, and then you have the two Mark of the Storms to be able to to be able to interact. Like, and then they go to bounce it, and you like boom, boom. You throw the marks, and then it's on them again. But we don't have Sonic Wave. I have ten cards in my hand, so I can't just attack. We could play Ezreal here. It's like fine. I got I got to get something out of my hand. Actually, have a lot of burn <laughs> thanks to all the extra cannons we have in hand i would like to get this one recalled and replayed this turn that's annoying i can still attack i have twin disciplines as well but i don't want to i don't want to try to fight through that it's really annoying um if i just attack with cannon he's not getting blocked and then he dies which is not what we want I think just recall might be the move. Cannon's lightning rush seems like a lot. That's a lot of mana. Opens us up to a lot of stuff. But currently, I am also the only one with Ezreal on the board. Cannon again. I think I'll just attack here. Now I have two marks, so I can like start with a mark on Kennen, right? And then when my opponent does something to save Kennen, I have another mark. Two free spells to try to combat whatever my opponent does. I do want to fight, but I don't want to fight too hard and allow my opponent to go, like, Kennen's Lightning Rush, bounce this guy, shoot my Kennen, replay Kennen. You know, like, that would be very bad for me. All right, cool. They just let it go. Let's see what else they do. I'd be really happy to pass the turn here, I feel. This just seems like a really good pass for me. So I believe I'll just take it. Like, yeah, leveling Ezreal is really key, but we're in such a commanding position right now. We get another cannon, which is pretty good, I hear. It's pretty decent. Uh, Sonic Wave would make sense. Like, playing cannon and then going Sonic Wave, shipping him at Ezreal. That sounds like something I should expect to see. This deck is definitely difficult to play. There's a lot of lines every single turn. A ton of lines. So at first, it's probably going to... Oh, you played the wrong cannon. Uh, at first, it's probably going to feel a little tough. Let's throw a mark on. Cannon, I think. I would like to start casting these lightning rushes. That way, if we find a Kinku... Uh, we can just get more cannons on the board. The problem with Lightning Rush is it's pretty easily thwarted by throwing it on a cannon with things like Cannon's Lightning Rush, possibly two Mark of the Storms. I 
As well as about the level, though. Which is really important. Okay. If I if I fire off a lightning rush, can I win the fight? I don't have denies. I do have mystic shots and stuff. They just play another cannon, I guess, which is not fantastic. Hmm. I know you're what if I shoot Shadow Assassin? Speed things up a little? Like this? We have so many cannons, like we don't even I, we don't even care if this one dies. Might even be good for us. Okay, Ezreal's leveled. I'll, in fact, probably actively try to have this cannon die. Pass priority back. We're super happy if the turn ends, obviously. There's Ezreal. I was gonna, I was gonna say our opponent's gonna start putting pressure on us at some point, or it's not gonna go the way they want. Let's see all of it. Seven mana for our opponent. Uh huh. They're gonna attack. They can stun Ezreal in combat. This is where it gets real tricky. Real tricky. Okay, so they're gonna do this and then grab Ezreal and attack in with obviously their own Ezreal. Because you're going to start doing some weird stuff. Uh, to try to keep your opponent from, like, being able to target you and things. It's really weird. Um, twin Disciplines, I kind of like. I obviously don't want Ezreal to hit me. I could Homecoming our opponent's Ezreal. That seems fine. I don't want to bounce my own Ezreal, though. I could bounce my Cannon, I guess. Oh, wait. No, I do want to bounce my own Ezreal. Well, now. Um, yeah. Okay. So, like this. They get the thing. Oh, because I blocked. That was stupid of me. There's so many things to think about in this matchup. But I do want our cannon gone. Opponent could have deny. Take your time, pal. It's not like I've got better things to do. You see where a Sonic Wave would be helpful, right? They could go for it. They could try to kill my Ezreal, but, like, that's never happening. Um, the deck runs Twin Disciplines and stuff, right? Uh, just going to put some damage on my eye. That's fine. So I go to 10, which I don't love, gonna be honest. I could stop that by just like recalling Eye of the Dragon. It's a lot of damage stopped, honestly. But I think, think I'll just save it. Breathe in, breathe out. Then I'll probably just replay Ezreal. Nothing threatens him. Don't blink or you miss me. Replay Ezreal. We replay Kennen. Like they could cast Kennen spell on Kennen, which is pretty good, right? This is your this is your opportunity. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Have I mastered the clone technique too well? Now they can't. Probably. Now they can't bounce Kennen with Kennen spell. But if I cast this, then they can. So I think I, just, I think I just don't cast it. Honestly. And we just wait. Opponent has no elusive blocker, so they're gonna have to blink first. Wind and thunder. They do have me on a pretty big mana advantage. Getting into a spells fight right now would favor me because our opponent doesn't have Ezreal, and I do. They have a life advantage and a mana advantage though. Uh you love to see this block.
to fill my hand with created cards. Yeah, I'd get the cannon spell and the mystic shot. Um, very happy with this. Very happy with this. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Does gotta hurt. You tell him, Ezreal. The dark beckons. Let's start firing things on Kenan. Let's start a spell fight before our opponent gets to play Ezreal. Nope, just gonna let it go. Okay. They do have another Kenan, but like, I'm gonna shoot that one too. And then they won't have any Kenans left. And this deck without Kenan suffers. The world's a big place. Let's, Let's see all of it. Killing Ezreal still seems like a pipe dream, gonna be honest. It's a really nice pipe dream, though. But could you maybe speed things up a little? Okay, let's go here. Our opponent is like assuredly going to cast Kennen and then go after our eye. That's what I would do. No, they're just trying to pass the turn. Well, we can't have that, can we? Let's throw a Mystic Shot at face, get that damage in. Just trying to get the damage in. We have... Okay, then we're going to... We're going to end up using these self-recalls, most likely, to bounce the stuff our opponent's targeting to keep them from getting the damage. A big problem, though, is they have a bigger board than us. Another pass, huh? Are your Eye of the Dragons even activated? They're not. They're not even close. Can I just pass here? I could cannon spell a cannon. I don't hate that at all. That's a lot of damage if it just goes through. And what could they have? Ezreal's Mystic Shot? But we have Twin Disciplines. Yeah, let's Kennen Spell a Kennen. Very nice. They go to seven. They're gonna have to start pulling the trigger, or like we're gonna we're just gonna kill them in burst. Retreat? Okay, probably retreat and then return. Um I definitely feel like I don't mystic shot this. So I'll allow it. And then I think they'll just return Cannon. Maybe not. Maybe they return Shadow Assassin, draw another card, and then just play Cannon. Okay, that's what they're gonna do. Yeah, I go down to ten. I'm going to keep throwing stuff at Ezreal. All my stuff that doesn't go face, it's going at Ezreal. Because if they bounce Ezreal, they don't do damage to me. That seems like a real good trade. I don't have Homecoming or Deny, which is not good. Because my opponent does, they could do some sneaky stuff. Recalling Ezreal. All right. Again, recalling Ezreal means I'm not taking damage. So that's really good. Uh, I think I just say yes, please. They're at seven. Then what? They play Kennen? That's not very good. Not anymore. You missed your window. Have I mastered the clone technique too well? Probably. Can bounce my own Kennen. Do it again. So they go to six, then four, and then I have lethal. And they have no Ezreal on the field. Yeah, that's fine. I don't need her anymore. And you're not dealing damage to me because you don't have Ezreal. What is gained when you return malevolence? I see you. I see me. This is this is my kind of game. <laughs> like th this is how I like to play card games. I like it to all be on the stack. I like it to be all these spells, and you have to know exactly how like priority works and everything. That's my favorite part of card games. Now deny is a nice pickup. They gotta open, right? Yeah, that's gotta be the move. Um. Turn disciplines. Mystic shot. Then they try to deny or something. Nope, they just don't have it. GG, we got there.
Nice. That was super fun. Maybe not for you guys. <laughs> Let me know. Was that a bore you to sleep or was that an exciting one? Because to me, that stuff is so exciting, but I understand a lot of other people don't like those kind of games. Poppy Lulu. Oh, it's Nick. Good old Nick. Oh my god. Nick Makes Plays hates this deck, man. Nick Makes Plays hates Eye of the Dragon more than anyone has ever hated anything ever. Like in history, dude. In history. Uh, maybe I'll just keep these. And we'll just draw spells and get there. Oh, look, it's Kingu. Dope. <laughs> He's going to be so mad. <laughs> we'll, give him, we'll give him a nice kissy emote. <laughs> I, can, I can see him right now. I can picture him in my mind's eye on stream just mauling, dude. Just be like, God damn it. Of course Majin Bay is playing Eye of the Dragon. I wanted this card to be nerfed for 15 years. Hello. Oh, good times, good times. Um, yeah, let's pass. Okay. Uh, not playing cannon into that. No, thank you. I like my cannons to stay alive. Yordle Explorer, Explorer. sure. Uh, I could play Eye of the Dragon to just stop it. He's currently cussing at his computer. <laughs> I told you guys, he hates it. All punished. Um. Yeah, honestly, we're just going to play Kennen to do some shenanigans. We have Sonic Wave and stuff. Now we have, like, well, Seedling's a turn 5 move here, because we're going to go Kinko on 4, most likely. We'll just put, like, a mark here. We can kill this. We can kill anything Nick plays. Yeah, Mayor? Pff, not on my watch. We'll go ahead and take out the Mayor before it gets crazy. That with Explorers is kind of spooky. I'll do that, too. That way, if uh, Nick passes priority, which is likely, um, I can Kinku, right? Or Seedling. And then I could stun the Challenger unit. Second Mayor. Sure. Make a speech. Yes. Yes. A speech? Uh, I actually kind of like Seedling more a bit. I like the idea of Nick attacking into ephemeral cannons on our turns, right? I'll shoot this guy. I want to get the... I want to get the thing going. What I don't want is some wild plus one plus one pump kill my Eye of the Dragon after I mark one of the other guys, though. That ain't worth it. Uh, we have no Eye of the Dragon. Spoiler alert. We do not need it. This game is already over. <laughs> it's going to take an act of God for Nick to win this game, I think. We're, we are going to attack with three leveled cannons on turn five. Oh, man. It does one damage to my cannon, but he has one health. Oh, wait. Not anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. We, we drew the nuts, though. Like, this is, this is one of the best hands for this deck I've ever seen. We just had it all, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going to check Twitter in three minutes because I bet you there's going to be a screenshot of that on there. All right, guys. That's going to be it for this video. I just finished the game. Literally just finished the game 30 seconds ago. Look at this tweet. Look at this. Look at this. Nick makes plays 925. Look, 925. What did I tell you guys? I'm convinced Wayfair Kennedy was not balance tested. I told you he would tweet about it right after. Anyway, that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing some Ari next. And then I think Pantheon, maybe a little bit later. I haven't really found a Rumble deck I'm super happy with yet. Uh, he still seems to be kind of not, not really doing it, unfortunately, for you Mecha Yordle lovers. But that's all I got for now. I'll see you guys later.